Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a flowchart on Microsoft Word. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a flowchart on Microsoft Word. Okay, once you open up Microsoft Word, you'll get a blank document and you want to go to you your ribbon and select the insert tab. And in this tab there will be a section called illustrations and you'll want to click the button that says smart art. In smart art you can choose different types of things such as lists, processes, cycles, relationships, matrices, and pyramids. Today I'm going to be choosing processes and I'll be choosing a basic process to show you how a basic flowchart will work. In this, I'll be selecting a basic circular bending process. And in this, um, for the smart art, the basic text box will show up sorry a basic text box will show up with the basic formatting that you will have for your flowchart and you will be able to edit all of these things if in the future today I'm just gonna insert a random flowchart of a day daily, ske daily schedule and you, if you noticed how the text will change <coughs> sorry you notice that the text but the text will change size depending on how much text there is inside the, te the tiny text box that was within each section of the flowchart and this is very useful so you don't have to mess with the font changes or font size depending on to make the flowchart look good if you notice if the text seems a little bit too small you always on the outer rim of the text box you will have a certain handles on the corners and the on the side middle sides of the text box which you can use to change the height width and overall size of the entire text box so your text will become larger the images will become larger and it'll be easier to read So I'll just be finishing typing out the rest of the flowchart so we can get a full diagram to work with. Okay, now that we have our basic flowchart, we can finally start going into the editing process. You'll notice that, um, <coughs> sorry, you'll notice that, um, if you, there are two, there's a smart art tools design that comes up in the top ribbon. If you deselect it, it comes up. But when you select the flowchart, a new tab will show up called, a new tab will show up called smart art design, smart art tools, sorry with two tabs underneath it, design and format. In the design tab, you have several different boxes used to, and in this box, in the far left box, you'll have create graphic, which is basically you could enter before or after the flowchart, different things in case the flowchart isn't big enough or is too big, you can select and deselect shapes that you can use. And basic thing that you'll be using to design your flowchart would be the smart art style section in your design tab. In this you can choose different art that you will use in your flowchart. When using the down arrow you can select different rows or you can select it all um, in the very bottom arrow that will open up the more arrow that will open up the entire thing for your viewing. And here they have all of the different type of types of designs that you can see. For this, you can personalize and 
enhance the visual aspects of your flowchart to make it more appealing towards your audience or whoever is going to be viewing this. Today we'll just use a simple inlaid tab, inlaid design to make sure just so it's not extravagant. Also along with the type of style you can change your colors with this button right here. With this there are different themes that you can choose from accents 1 through 6 with the primary theme colors and each accent will have a select color blue, red, green, orange, purple and you can also have colorful which is a variety of colors that fade in and out of each other for a pretty basic colorful view. I'll just select one of these colorful ones And so here you have your basic format, and you can tell that each of the di these different shapes have their own little boxes that you can use. And 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 you can do more with these by going to the Format tab. But first, you can choo always choose different designs, and this will take the information. Sorry about that. You can take the already typed in information and choose different types of flowcharts that you would wish to use in case you want a different format or a different layout or in just in case you want a different visual. Now this one looks too big so too big and too extravagant not really simple and so we're going to pick a different one that's fairly simple for the time being just to show the different options you can have. you have the basic format and you can choose different types of things so if we go to the format tab you know you'll notice different things that you can use in the far left you have the shapes which if you select a shape you can have different options for it the shape styles you can edit the text at the shape colors shape outline and the effects of the shape in the word art styles you can choose different text formats that you can choose that you can have shown here it'll choose different word art that you can use it also has the, um, the text fill text outline and text effects that you can have it, the same options can go for viewing the different formats as with the designs so we're going to undo all of that went a little bit too far can also arrange the size, text wrapping, and position of your flowchart and the different boxes inside of the flowchart. So we're going to select the first shape here just to give an example of what you can do for the options. And since this is the first thing, it says wake up, we're going to change the shape and we're going to give it a sign. And here you have different types of things you can use, flowchart, education, blocks, basic, and stars and banners, with rectangles as being the basic one. So let's find a good picture that we can use here. You can always have different options. Let's just pick the seven-pointed star here. You'll notice again how the text changes to fit inside the shape, so you don't have to worry about a font and it's the sun so we'll give it a color it's a little bit too bright so we'll drop it down to orange here and now we're going to choose um, you can always choose different things so we have our we have our sun for a wake up and you can explore different things different arrow shapes different things to do with uh, regular shapes and you can always edit your text to make it seem more fitting. And to, in order to edit text and change shape you can always right click on the shape and that'll allow you to quick access so you don't have to go up to the ribbon every time. Let's 
since we have sleep there, let's change that to Crescent Moon. And you'll notice it's kind of distorted. And you can again see how the text changes to fit the shape. And we have these handles in around the shape, just like with the entire flowchart. The green one allows you to change the rotation of your shape, but as you can see, that turns the text upside down, so it's not very good. I'm going to turn that back so I can get a hold of it. And our shape is still distorted, so we're going to use the handles that we have on the top, bottom, left, and right to change our shape and the size and the aspects of our shape until we can find something that will look relatively decent. Also, I want, you can always deselect by double clicking and you'll get a regular text option on the word and you can also go to your header to make a specialized header in case you want to add a title to your flowchart. By going to the home ribbon you can select the different positionings of the text and the different font sizes that you have and we'll call this our daily schedule. But it doesn't seem very appealing, just regular black text so we're going to delete that. We're going to add word art which you go to the insert um, text word art in the text box and you can select different types of word art messed up there you can select different types of word art depending on your flowchart we're going to pick that and we are going to type out daily schedule click OK Now you have the selected word art in a text box in your header, which I don't know why I did that, but we'll address that later, maybe. You deselect that into your regular text, and your, and your header will have the title up on top of your flowchart. And you can always insert multiple flowcharts into a thing by going to Insert Smart Art. So if we just select a random one, like upward arrow, you can see it fits in with the text just as the last one did, right underneath the last one. So you can insert multiple flowcharts to create a good presentation for any sort of business meeting or recreational. Now I believe that is the basics of how to create, a, create and to edit a flowchart in Word. I hope you enjoyed.